Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Align Plans. Today, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be kind of looking back to see how things went with inking and all my pens are actually ready to get inked up once again. So we're going to be inking up with some new inks. I will show you guys some swatches. I also have a very special unboxing to do as well. And we'll kind of do a quick little review of what was going on for the month of December. So if all of that sounds good, then why don't we just get started? So here's the thing. Uh, for the month of December, I didn't actually ink things up until about close to the time that I was ready to travel, which is what you would have seen the currently inked video was like just right before I actually left on vacation. I wasn't really using my pens too, too much while I was away, only because I actually got sick and I was sick for the majority of the trip. But let's just go down on memory lane because I did use up at least one of them, which is really nice. So to just kind of preface this, so here's my, here's my little swatch book. Now I'm using the common plan that I had for last year as a, as a swatch book because the, uh, the paper is Tomo River paper and also because like, look how much I have left over in the note section. So I thought that this would be a really nice way to kind of just use it up instead of just archiving like a half finished book. So a couple of things to mention here. Um, so these are the inks that I was using for the last month. As you can tell, I had at least three different blue, I guess four different blue inspired inks that I was kind of using. And, um, and some of it, honestly, you're not going to see it in the lineup for this month because I'm, I didn't, because I didn't get a chance to really utilize some of the pens for its fullest potential. I'm going to leave the ink in there or I'm going to refill it. So namely we have Franklin Kristoff. I still have, I feel like it needs to be refilled a little bit, not by much. Let me just take a look. Oh, I guess, yeah, like, I guess we can like refill it a little bit. I want to keep that same Outback Forest from Lennon Toolbar in there. It's such a beautiful color for this, um, for this pen and like the ink just flows so beautifully whenever I use it. So I wanted to give myself more time with this color with the pen. So I'm not really going to be changing anything here. I did use it a few times, but I do find that because of the medium nib, the ink, like I have to kind of refill it quite quickly. Um, the other one that is also staying, um, but one thing I should mention is that from Lennon Toolbar, I still had to switch out of this Hoko Po from my pilot, I had to put in something totally different because I, it was just not legible at all. I could not read anything. So I did end up putting something else in here. And then um, things like, actually, let me go back to the very beginning. So the Sailor and Mizutama collab went into my white Kuwaiko. So that's this one. I really love this combo. I think that it looks really pretty and I am going to leave it in there so that it gets more airtime than what I had for the month of December. Um, basically, I'm not changing any of the Kaweco. So we have Kaweco Fox and the Navy. Fox has Suki Gokoru and Navy has a Sailor Shikiori Kasasagi. I still like both of these and I think that the color is beautiful. So here it is in Navy. It, it's a very dark, beautiful Navy color, which kind of fits the pen itself. So I'm not really going to make changes to that. And then, and then for Fox, it's the most interesting bluish. I mean, here in the swatch, it's so different than how it looks in the pen. So I'm going to give it a little bit more time. So again, it gets more playtime for the month of January. Now, the pens that I am going to be changing though is, so we have Treasure in the Sailor Mizutama collab, which is this one. I did struggle with this a little bit, but I did use up all of it. So towards the end, when I was basically running out of ink, it was becoming a little patchy and a little scratchy on the paper. So I did refill it a little bit. I will be changing this completely for the next month, but I do love the combo though. I wish it was running just a little bit more ink through the nozzle than, than what it does. It definitely writes more like a fine, but this is a medium fine nib that I have in this pen. 
My other sailor pen is the uh, Sailor and Yoseko collaboration. This had Starry Night Blue. Very surprising, actually. Um, it wrote like a true beautiful blue. And I really enjoyed it. And I thought that it was a really nice experience, but I am definitely looking to kind of put something new in here. Then we have Ferris Wheel Press's um, Classy Burgundy. Honestly, this wrote more like a dark brown. So I kind of got the feeling like this kind of writes more like steeped umber um, rather than rather than the classy burgundy. I didn't realize how dark it is, but maybe it's just it's dark in this pen. So it's it's quite interesting. I did enjoy it. I am looking to kind of switch it up. And then what do we have in this one? What do we have in my pilot? I honestly. Oh, I remember we have. Trying to find the name. It's Kengoyu. Kengayu. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name, but that's what we currently have in here. Again, looking to switch it out. And I'm going to leave alone. Um, I'm going to just completely leave alone my um, my Lammies. I'm just not reaching for them. So I think I'm just gonna go and clean it and just kind of set it aside at least at least for a month to see how I feel. Sometimes I do come back to use a Lamy in my Hobonichi cousin. Not very often though. I mean, especially now that like I have a larger collection and if I want something that has a bit more of an ink flow running through it, then I reach for the Kawakos. So, okay, let's talk about the new inks. And let's talk about like, what well, this is basically my Christmas gift. So it has arrived today. So first, this is just like a little um, haul update, but I basically got this uh, three pack of Sailor uh, brush pens and it's a double edge or double sided. So you have like this fine nib on one side and then the brush pen on the other side. It is the most beautiful thing. I really just wanted to swatch it for you guys. So this one is the darker brown. Then you have more like this taupey toned down version of it. And then you have like this beautiful coral, right? I really wanted to show you. I think that they're fantastic. I really, really like it. And on the back end of things, I can 100% see myself reaching for all of these colors because they're, they're muted and they're neutrals, but yet they're so beautiful. Again, I'm surprised that not many people are kind of talking about this. So here we go. Wonderful. Okay, let's talk about the inks, which is what I know what most of you have been waiting for. So I have four samples and two full bottles. I didn't want to go crazy this, this time. So here is the packaging. Let's start with the full bottles because I have the bottle itself in front of me. So first we have Sailor's Zara Gokoru. So hopefully you can see it. That's this guy. I will show you the swatch cards because I received this yesterday and I already swatched all of them, but we will swatch them here as well. So this is the swatch for Sara Gokoru. Then we have, this is from Lennon Toolbar. And this one is called Weshan Pohong Tea. So there you go. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's absolutely stunning. It's just everything about this company, like I thoroughly love, like even like the little card that it came with. So it's Wenshan Po, po Chang T. Stunning, right? So it's a mountainous area between Taipei and Yilan is not just suburbia to get away from the busy cities. The mountains covered by clouds and fog have been the very place for tea plantations for over a century. The, the clearness you see in the tea perfectly portrays the aromatic fresh air in the mountains and it gives you a vibe as if you are in the wilderness away from the city. Again, love the whole storyline behind it. I love the packaging, honestly. Like so far, I've never really had any issues with any of the Lennon Toolbar um, inks, but let's just... 
So that's it for the two full bottles that I wanted to show you. And then we have four little ones. But before I show you, I will just swatch them because it's just a lot more fun that way. So once again, I have my dip pen and I have, this one is a size four brush. I'm not sure where my size six is, but that's okay. So that's it on the two full bottles, which I'm really excited about. Now let's move on to the four samples. And I believe I have one sailor and I believe three from Lennon Toolbar. So let's take a look. So this one is from Lennon Toolbar. It's called Twilight. Next up, we have also from Lennon Toolbar. It's called Joey. Next up, we have also from Lennon Toolbar, this is called Noshima. I think it says Hatna. Hatia. Noshima Hatia. Another blue. I don't know why I was having such a moment with blues again. Actually kind of reminds me of hydrangea. And last but not least, we have from Sailor Yuramaku, we have Kyokuya. These are all of the swatches. So now our next thing will be to kind of figure out who's getting what. Although I should mention that these two colors are so, so close to one another, but I'm pretty sure that as soon as we load it into the two different pens, they will 100% show up differently because this has happened so often. Even when I'm 100% sure that it will be a certain way it still always turns out kind of differently um i also brought one more that we can swatch and i have steeped umber because i had a feeling that it's going to be very blue or like grayish oriented we do have a really beautiful red which i think kind of balances things out but either bringing in steeped umber or we can also bring in we can either bring in mizona tea or spruce country post although we do have two greens but they look fundamentally different and i don't know maybe we're not gonna use that but <clears throat> i'm kind of torn between these two but let's take a look even though we've swatched it before and i have a swatch of it but sometimes i do like to kind of look at the full picture to see what i'm going to be using so let's see You've seen me use Mizona tea multiple times. I, I love it. It's, it's just a very foolproof color for me. The only thing I'm not sure of if, if I prefer that over steeped umber. So I'm just gonna swatch both with the brush first. Mm. 
Okay, so here when you put the swatches side by side, it's very obvious <coughs> that this, this is more cool toned, this is more warm toned. Mm, okay, I will. I know what's going to decide it because I think um, I haven't shown you one more thing. But okay, so this is going to be. just going to dab the excess here because otherwise this will take absolutely forever to dry and we don't want that and then the last one that I wanted to do was a steep dumper I think it's gonna be this one that will win for this month because everything else is kind of dark but I'll just show you what I'm using as a deciding factor. So the last thing that I, I wanted to show you, well, you, you've already seen like we have four pens, right? Well, the one thing that I didn't show you actually is that I also have a new addition that we can also unpack. So while this is drying, I'm just gonna set it to the side. And let's just take a look. So I bought a new sailor pen and this is, I believe this is like a T. I will look up like the exact name. I don't think, I don't think in this one it tells you, but this is what she looks like. So we have like a white cap and this very interesting almost like uh, literally almost like it's a, like a tea color and then we have like, this beautiful green on the end so hence why having things like outback forest or having like these beautiful greens makes perfect sense but here's the oh and then at the very cap of it you have you have like the embossing again very very stunning so i I definitely would like to ink her up for this month, but the reason why I wanted to kind of see the swatch was because I wanted to see which one of the browns would make more sense. But honestly, now that I'm kind of looking at it, what would actually make more sense to me is potentially to go with one of the greens. I will show you guys at the very end when everything is all inked up, but this is sort of the lineup for the month of January basically and before i let you go well first of all if you're enjoying ink swatches like this one then don't forget to subscribe so that you know you get notified every single time i release a new ink swatching video but this is basically all i have i'm going to ink everything up like off camera just so that you're not watching that aspect of it because what we mainly care about is to see what's going to be happening, how did everything go for the last month, and that's sort of like the premise behind these videos anyway. But in the next little segment, I will show you guys a close-up of each ink, and we'll make a quick note of which pen actually ended up in that ink. And I will just write it right on the screen so that you can have a reference point as well. And it also helps me to kind of reference it back later on. But this is generally what I end up using as a reference point each month in case I forget what ink I inked into that specific pen. This is basically all I wanted to share with you. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. First of all, I'm so excited to, to ink this up because I think that this is just so stunning i mean these are like the the first three ever sailor pens that i have i wanted to have like a very special one and and i got the opportunity to so 
Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to be treasuring all four of these. They're by far my favorite pens to use. And it's not to say that I don't enjoy the Kawakos, but they just write a little bit differently. So there you have it. It's a slippery slope, that's all I can say. But I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up and support the channel as always. And in the meanwhile, just keep inking, keep journaling, keep planning, doing all the things. And I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.